I volunteer to teach people about Congo. However, I need every single one of you to help me get this video to everyone. So, what is the main issue in Congo? Congo has the world's largest mineral reserves. Congo also has the world's largest cobalt reserve. Cobalt is a very valuable mineral, but Congo does not have the capacity to protect itself from vulture capitalists. So what happens, it, it is targeted by some of the worst companies and human beings possible for its minerals. So here's the thing. Cobalt is a mineral that is used in every single device that is chargeable. If that device has a battery, if you can charge that phone, that device, that anything, then it has cobalt. So we're talking about phones, tablets, laptops. We're talking about electric uh, cars. We're talking about planes. We're talking about commercial vehicles. All of those equipments and machinery have cobalt in them. So here's what happens. So when companies want to make extremely large profit margins, what they do is they make sure that the raw material that they're getting is almost is as cheap as possible and that is what is happening in congo in doing that they are displacing people killing people kidnapping human trafficking all the above how do they do this so these companies are literally funding a militia group called m23 m23 is armed and completely sponsored to cause havoc in congo in causing havoc in congo what they do is they commit every single atrocity known to human beings and then displace those people. Of course, the government of Congo is going to try and retaliate. In retaliating, causes war. If they cause war, people flee. If people flee, they leave the land that has the cobalt and these companies benefit. And that is how they are doing it. Now, there are few perpetrators that I have found because I have my notes and I've done my research. So these perpetrators are including... Number four, number four on the list is every single big tech company that you know of. That is Samsung, iPhone, X, Tesla, Boeing. Every single company that manufactures every single thing that has cobalt is number four on the list. Who is number three on the list? Number three on the list is China. China has its own cobalt reserve. However, China wants to dominate the industry of cobalt mining. How do they do that? They invest in Congo. And by investing, they try to acquire as much land that has cobalt. You, you see where I'm going with this, right? Then, number two on the list is, to no one's shock, no one's shock whatsoever, United States of America. You guessed it. Of course, they've never been the good guys. You thought they were. They've never been the good guys. The government of the United States of America, particularly the Department of Defense in the U.S., tries to acquire as much cobalt as possible. The number one on the list is a company called Glencore. G-L-E-N-C-O-R-E. Glencore is so bad that the United States of America thinks of it as a competitor, so they try to get rid of it. Glencore is so corrupt. And oh, by the way, Glencore is the biggest, emphasis on biggest, largest cobalt miner in the world. In the world. They are the devil incarnation. They are the reason Congo is suffering. That is how big and horrible that company is to a point where USA tried to become a hero. And of course, you know, U.S. just wants to beat China in the domination of cobalt in the entire world. So they had to intervene to look like the good guys. We know them. They're, they've never been that great. However, Glencore is horrible. Okay? And I need you guys to go and do more research on Glencore. They've been taken to court. That is how serious it is. Then we have Dan Gettler. Gatler? I'll write his name somewhere. This guy has been sanctioned by the, by the U.S. government for causing corruption and causing mayhem. The mayhem I was just talking about, M23. Yeah, these are some of the culprits. So here's the thing. There's also the shareholders of these big companies, the ones I've just named. They're also culprits because they knew. If you're going to start a company, if you're going to work in a company, you need to do your research. In doing the research, they must have figured out 
where the cobalt was coming from and how they were achieving it at an extremely cheap price. Also, we've all been fooled because guess what? We are buying phones at extremely expensive prices while they're literally buying their raw materials at close to nothing. We're all being fooled. Every single one of us is a victim at this point. <clears throat> it's not just Congo. Think about it. Here are some facts you may need to know, by the way, before I go. <clears throat> so Congo has 5.6 million displaced, internally displaced persons. As of now, that is according to United Nations uh, High Commissioner for Refugees. The statistics is at 5.6 million. 5.6 million is an extremely huge number. The biggest stadium in the world holds 150,000. That is so Congo that is 37 times. Congo's displacement is 37 times the biggest stadium in the world. If you don't understand what 5.6 million is, El Salvador, the smallest country in the world, has 5.6 million. Johannesburg has the exact same number. That the the, the city Johannesburg has 5.6. 5.6 million is larger than the, the population in Nairobi. It's larger than Cape Town. It's larger than Los Angeles. It's larger than California. Let me make Chicago, sorry. Larger than Chicago. That is 5.6 million human beings. Palestine was at 2 million. I'm not trying to compare suffering or anything, but I want you to remember Palestine was like 2 million in Gaza Strip. This is 5.6 million. Yeah, that's more than double that amount. So I, I hope you understand how serious this thing is.